got good values, girl. <laughs> Do you want to be perfect? Nope, sure don't. I don't. Sure? I'm not perfect, trust me. <laughs> okay, this is just a normal pantry, yeah. folks. <laughs> and we're just having a normal day. <laughs> Hi. Hello, everybody. It's uh, Nana and Papa from the Papa's Kitchen, or Jerry and Susan. Um, and uh, we this is a bonus uh, video today uh, for February uh, as we're recording. And I wanted, uh, I thought it'd be good I uh, showed you the pantry and showed you the pasta machine, but also just take a brief few moments and talk with you. I, uh, during the holidays, we asked people to send in questions, yes. if you remember, and a lot of people did it, and it related to uh, the book that Sarah and I and my mom wrote about mm -hmm. common sense uh, parenting and different things. And we had already, Sarah and I had uh, done two different videos, one on mm -hmm. honor and one on values. And it was interesting the questions that we got as it related to values. And they were really good questions because a number of people asked like, well, what do you mean by values? You know, that, that kind yes. of thing. And I thought it would be good uh, on this uh, bonus Saturday, which is uh, coming out, this is February 18th, and I usually don't say the date, but I know this is gonna be. It's just, a, they're probably packaging up, those of you that ordered the book, they're packaging them up as we speak yeah. and getting ready to send them out because they all get released on the 21st, which is really exciting. But I did want to talk with you just briefly uh, here on camera about values. In the chapter that Sarah and I looked at before on that video and just talking with you about it, uh, we entitled it, Others May, You Cannot. And that was my mother's mantra. Yeah. And I put that as the title for the, the chapter on values because the concept that they gave to us, and I know your folks probably did too, is yes. I don't care what the kids in the neighborhood or the families are, I don't even care what extended family like aunts and uncles in their homes are doing. This is how we operate. This is what guides us in, and dictates to us our behavior and our actions and our thinking about all sorts of stuff. And it really boils down to just like four or five, six basic values, core foundational values that they put in us. And I know we did that for our kids as yes. well. You know, we the, the this is, my dad used to say, this is the David home, you'll act like David's and David's are leaders, we're not followers. And I, I understand what he was saying about that. It's not that we don't follow, right. it's that you better know yourself and have a certain value system in place in yourself so well that you can lead others to right kind of living. Um, and you're at least living by example to others. Well, they'd come home uh, from school and say they want certain items. Mm. Mm. because everybody has that item and yeah. so um, yeah. we couldn't actually on a pastor's salary at that time afford it we anyhow. could not afford mm -hmm. certain items so yeah. we did what we could and they understood and they never lacked I mean yeah they looked great yeah. unless you looked at the tag <laughs> and uh, it wasn't the it wasn't the item from that yeah, store or yeah, that the Michael Jordan tennis shoes so or stuff like that. We'd yeah. always say, "Wow, really? So you're doing it to follow everyone?" Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so would you follow them off yeah. the end of the cliff? And <laughs> I've known a lot of people who say, say that. that. That's a and that's pretty much the principle you're talking. It really, about. really is. And what was made really real to me about the importance of values was just these last few weeks that everybody, probably around the world, that watches us. Uh, have watched on the news about this terrible, horrific, I'm going to just call it a murder that happened to that man mm -hmm. in yeah. Memphis by five officers. And now subsequently, it has been even enlarged their investigation. And they not only fired those five that did the beating on that mm -hmm. gentleman, but they have fired three other officers and three other emergency medical that were just watching. that were watching and yes. didn't aid and and yes. comfort the person that was right. hurt and i thought well that is really good to do that and i know people have made this uh maybe about race or this that and the other hey, listen when someone is being kicked in the head and beaten like that it not only speaks to an inbred hate obviously or mm -hmm. a or, or a prejudice of some sort it speaks to a lack of values of a hum another human being, in my mind. And 
I, yeah. I can't imagine standing there as an EMT or another officer and too afraid to actually right. interject, even though I might get a beating myself by them, I'm not going to stand by and let them beat that man. And I'm not trying to be sanctimonious or righteous about it. It's just that what drives us internally, our core values, is the thing that makes or breaks our character. It shapes our character and who we are. Right, and to me that's what lacks in a lot of families because they weren't maybe raised with any values. Or, Could be. Or the values have shifted so much in culture yeah. that there's real confusion about what is a value and what is just following society. Yeah. And that's why it's so important from a young age to teach your toddlers, yeah. to teach yeah. like you Everything. listen to your mom, Absolutely. you do what your mom yeah. says, yeah. and um, it's just really important. And I think sometimes we just sweep it under the rug saying, well, it's not that important. No. Believe me, this is what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. If it's not dealt with when it's a, when it, you're a child. It comes out as an adult. Yes. Absolutely. And it's the difference between fad and chasing fads, which yes. it seems to be our culture wants to do that. And actually, like it's you mentioned. It's been that way for a long oh, time. Oh, yeah. And I was going to say, like you mentioned, with raising our children and probably raising um, me and my brothers, my folks, we wanted to chase, you know, it was the hippie thing, it was yes. the rock, all that, you know, yes. and the drugs, free sex, the whole thing. We didn't chase the fads of the day. Well, you had a hard time when you were three. Oh, five, five. I, five. I, I ran away. Yeah. He wanted to go to his yeah. uncle's because he they had, had more different stuff. Value. They, they had, had more stuff. And I was, yeah, stuff. exactly. And that stuff wasn't yeah. at his house. But what did my folks so do? So his mother said, okay, let's pack your bag yeah. and let's go to your uncle. Yeah, so yeah. she didn't take you. No, he came by and picked, I stood on the she, corner and he picked packed me up. His, helped him pack his mm -hmm. little bag and he stood on the corner until his uncle came by. Took I'm me. sure sister and brother talked oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and said, let's see how long this lasts. Yeah, yeah. And he picked him up. Went to their house. You went all the way oh, to the yeah, house. Oh yeah, got to the house. I was there for about a half an hour. He had a big organ and I was messing with that and yeah. of course he had you know he had all those things. You got around dinner time? No it didn't get half an hour Susan. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't get a half an hour and I start missing my mom and dad start crying. It, you, you probably missed your brother. I probably you gotta take me home. I gotta go home right now. I was crying and they took me right back. You just so. started envisioning life without Ooh, them ever. No, I didn't like want that. Living I didn't want that. No. House. So uh, that's sort of the thing that we're talking about is yeah. putting values in. And I remember even for our kids, when Saren Solo, here's a value, we talked taught them about loyalty to each other and yes. family is important. Yeah. And I remember they were in their probably middle to late junior high years, like that 14, 15 yes. thing, don't you think? Sibling rivalry. Sibling rivalry and fighting all the time and everything like that. I remember you and I sitting on our couch in Lincoln. Sarah wasn't fighting. Oh, Sarah. Sarah <laughs> fights just as <laughs> She just fights differently. She does. And I'm going to stick up for Luke. <laughs> um, but I remember sitting on the couch, you and I, and we called them into the living room. Yeah. And we had already predetermined that they needed a lesson. And so what we did to help instill this value into them, which we knew it needed to carry on past their junior high years. It needed right. to go into their adult years. And now they're in their 40s yes. and it's still a working. We said to them, I'm, we're tired of the fighting. We're tired of this bickering. We're tired of all this messing around. <laughs> You're disturbing the peace of my home kind of thing. And from this moment forward, you can have no other contact or interface with any of your friends until, until you make each other your best friends. Yes. Oh my goodness, you would have thought we had we had just uh, undone them. I've heard of people tying uh, uh, oh, tying their legs together oh. too, and all day they have to stay oh, together my all day. Oh, we didn't long. do that. <laughs> there, were, there are all no. kinds of things yeah. you can do, but, I'll but the value you is that you have to honor your family and respect your family. Your respect. It's a gratitude for each other that it puts in there. It puts in a loyalty. It puts in a uh, all sorts of giving. Yes. I mean, it all sorts of things of that core foundational values or virtues that we want yes. in them. And boy, it didn't take long. But you know what? 
today those two are best friends. I mean, yes. they I mean, they have other friends, of course, spouses. and their yes. spouses, but they all get along together. That's what we wanted. And right. my uh, brothers and I and our wives, we all get, we, we're going on a cruise this year with all of them. I didn't have to deal with that because we lived in Africa and there were no other no kids. No other kids, so you had to learn how to play. <laughs> we had to learn how to be best friends yeah. with our brothers, yeah. with our siblings. So that's the idea about the importance of values it's really something you've got to think through yes. as a parent it's really something you have almost before and i'm sure most of you that are watching already have children but it's not too late to start by thinking through for if you're a yes. single parent think it through if you're a dual parent home talk to each other uh your spouse and figure out you know think about it what are our values what are our core values? Yes. And then let that be something that you constantly are monitoring that that's maintained. And certainly you can even in a negative way use the current state of our nations, uh, current state of the world, of the culture, everything to help determine, no, we're not following every fad or everything like that or all sorts of I mean, there's political agendas, there's um, uh, uh, rights and agendas, and also everybody has an agenda. Everybody's living for the moment. Everybody, but the minute a different wind blows, they're onto a different thing. Yes. Nope, this is what is going to establish our home. Yes. This is how we operate. This is how we work. Yes. And you keep that, and it, and it goes well. Yes. Yeah. Okay? So that's okay. the value thing. So. Yes. All right. Yeah. Yes, and I think what the important thing is isn't to follow someone's values, like our values no, or no, whatever. No. I, I, it's a it's an exercise in really thinking about what you want your family to turn out yeah. to be like when they're yeah. older. Do you go to church? Is that a value you want to put in your kids? Yeah. Not even necessarily what church. Find a church you can all go to yeah. if that's a value you want. Yeah. Um, do you uh, eat dinner at the table every night? Yeah. I mean, there's so many things. Those are sort of like those secondary values. But yeah, communicating. Yes, yeah, would be a value, absolutely. right? Yes, loyalty, uh, uh, gratitude. Oh, here's a good yes. one, giving. Developing yes. in your children ability to give yes. instead of always wanting, Receiving wanting, wanting. And wanting. Yeah, no, yes. you're gonna give, yes. and you can do that. I mean, at Thanksgiving, go serve at a, take the whole family and go serve dinner at a soup kitchen. There's or, so I mean, many ways. Or, you know, uh, uh, there's all sorts of ways yeah. that you instill that, and boy, once you lay that in, it's like a foundation. Once you put it in the building, you don't think about it very much. You don't wake up in the morning going, "Oh, what about?" You don't do that. What you do is you put them in so deep into the foundation of your family that they it's the reference point where everything else is built. Even if you worked on three, you see three happen in your Absolutely. family. You've never done that yeah. before. Yeah. That would yeah. be amazing. Yeah. So anyhow. So, but there is a question somebody asked. Oh, sure. Mm. I remember one. Mm. It was how we met. Oh. Do you now want to go did, into that? This, we did talk about that. Yeah, we did. In fact, how we met, how yeah, we yeah, dated, yeah, all that. It yeah. is on a video, and Belle's going to link that yeah. for us. But you know what? I will tell you this. I did put this in the book, and you make a good point. The whole idea, I think, and I, a little addendum here for everybody, the whole idea of having an engagement period before mm -hmm. marriage you know, is to actually figure out yes. what each other's value systems are yes. because it's hard. That's what makes marriage yeah. hard. You come right. with two major uh, dichotomous value systems. Yeah. It's hard to blend that. It is. Our okay. systems, your parents we raised some similar. things different, but it's similar enough that we had a basis but to go forward. But you know, it would on. have been so wonderful to have someone sit down with us oh, and talk about that. I wish we had had that. And yeah. when we got married, that didn't, didn't happen. Have it. We didn't. <laughs> it's no. the grace of but God I that do. we're still together oh, man, after 48, oh, almost 49 man. years. I know it. I know it. You got good values, girl. <laughs> 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 but I, I we would, had similar values. Well, our, our but I would hit that when I did pastoral counseling for yes. premarital. Oh yeah. my God, what's your values? Yeah. Well, we never have thought about that. What do Pastor you mean Jerry? values? Yeah. yeah. Well, better think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Good. That's a good deal. Good talking to you. Yeah. We'll maybe do some You're more next month. talking to them or me? Oh well, to you. I enjoy <laughs> talking to you. Uh, but we'll do more of this next month, eh? Yeah. Good. All right. Cool. See you guys. Bye. Bye bye. Hey, hi everyone. 
So anyhow, sort of circling back, I wanted to show you uh, my pantry. Last time I showed it to you, it was going to be changed and reworked. And it needed to be changed and reworked, and now it has been changed and reworked. It took you two days. Uh, it took me two days, but I got <laughs> rid of those old shelves. I put new lighting in, and I purchased, they had them on sale at Amazon. I'll try to put a link here. Uh, they had these uh, beautiful, like, restaurant-quality racks that I think my daughter Sarah uses, actually, and I bought one. I'm going to do a second one down in the other pantry, but I want you to see. Come over here, Sue, with the... Just, it doesn't even need much explanation. Just show the people <laughs> how beautiful this is. But as you can see, it's a little deeper so than my old rack. But it's not as wide. But it's not as wide. I, I, they have a five foot one. This is a 48 inch one. I couldn't get the five foot to fit. It would have been an inch short. But this does have roller feet so I can roll it out if I ever needed to. But. It, it just stacks and because it's so sturdy I can stack much higher some of the heavy stuff. Well, there's more room higher The other yeah. one had more yeah. shelves and it yeah. wasn't as but deep. But it wasn't as deep and high. Yeah. yeah, exactly Yes, I just love this and I've shown a few of the friends that have been over and they go Oh, yeah, wow, we're so impressed. We're so jealous yes. and all that which I love doing So anyhow even replace the light. Well, little, we've got little yeah, bugs little from bugs. From my princess. From poinsettias that I've let go too long. Yeah, how do you say it? Poinsettias or poinsettias? I, it depends on how perfect you want to be. Okay. Do you want to be perfect? Nope, sure don't. I you don't. Sure? I'm not perfect, trust me. So anyhow, isn't that cool? And all my flowers, my rice. So here's, come here, real oh, quick. Okay. This is how I did it. My, my cooking stuff like that I use a yeah. lot right in front of me, my flowers, sugars, uh, rices, pastas, which by the way, I'm going to show you something with that, uh, beans, all of that kind of stuff. And then down below are my condiments, you know, salad dressings, uh, peanut butter, uh, ketchups, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff, vinegar. Down below is like, way down below is uh, extra flour, um, tapioca flour you see down there, onions, a bag of a box of onions and potatoes I keep together down there. Just stuff, oh, and my big bin for flour, my bread flour. On this shelf is all, uh, in the middle here is all, uh, canned goods and, and like tuna here that I use or chicken. I mean, that kind of uh, soups, all of that kind of stuff. On the top is the extra things and also what I consider in the middle here my baking stuff. So I've got like coconut flakes, kale syrup, a uh, chocolate here that I use, uh, condensed uh, milk, you know, pumpkin puree, and then over at this end is just my broths if I need them. And Your what? Broths. But did I, what did I say? Like, like bros. I didn't. Bros. I did not say that. <laughs> well, now all of a sudden this is going to be taken off of YouTube because of some kind of suggestiveness or whatever. Uh, here and and olive oils. I was going to say virgin olives. I didn't want to even go down that road. Okay. Okay. So anyhow, okay. This is just a normal pantry, yep. folks. Yep. And we're just having a normal day. <laughs> all right. Okay, some of you don't realize that my birthday was just uh, a few days ago. Well, they've already and wished you happy birthday, but we're yeah. in a bad light there. But, yeah, so. but anyhow, um, Susan asked me, the kids, you know, wondering what to get you for your birthday, this, that, and the other. So I said, I'm wanting a pasta maker thing that would attach to my KitchenAid mixer. You know, one of those things that protrude out and you run your pasta dough through it. And Are you explaining this before I show it? I've already shown it. Oh, just show okay. it. <laughs> well, okay. This is what Sarah and Solo got me for yes. my birthday. This I was exciting. It. This was so fun. I, it's a pasta maker from Philips, and she's always wanted one for herself. But she told me, she says I've been, it's been on my wish list for a year and a half, and I've never done it. But she said, I thought I'd give it to you, or get it for you rather, and then you can work out yeah. the kinks, and then let me know how it does. So this is the different attachments. Yeah, that's the extrusion, different, sizes. different types you can put this in. This one there. is for. Oh, that's for fettuccine. Fettuccine. Oh, we had that. That's the one we eat so, eaten so far. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Oh, so that is so tasty. It's so easy. Yeah. It's so automatic. It's wonderful. I'll put the link up in the description yeah, box in case that. you want to get yeah, one. Yeah, it'll be good.